Virginia at Coastal Carolina. And Coastal Carolina at home, the Teal Field, all that good stuff in Conway, South Carolina. Uh, Coastal Carolina is a three and a half point home dog with a total of 55 and a half on this one. And as you can see, my numbers love Coastal. Love them. Absolutely all over it. Uh, Coastal by seven or six and a half when you do uh, power and stats. When you just do stats, it's got Coastal by nine. Uh, yes, we can look and say, oh, but they had trouble with Temple last week. If you go back and watch that game, they were running as vanilla an offense as they could. They were not interested in trying to run it up on Temple. They were saving stuff for, I would assume, this game. You look at what they can do running the football. Coastal. They are in a spot where they are going to be able to run the football on Virginia. As far as passing, uh, they don't pass it very often, 34% of the time up here. But they are number 64 in PPA per pass. There are spots. If Virginia was able to actually create havoc and actually get pressure on the quarterback, then that would be one thing. But Virginia is number 101 in that. Coastal is number four at defending havoc. On the other side of the ball, Coastal's defense ain't bad. Number 40 in PPA allowed per pass. Uh, Virginia's offense is number 32 when it comes to passing success rate. I mean, it's kind of boom or bust. You're, you're not going to get a bunch of sustained drives out of Virginia with uh, Anthony Calandria at quarterback. But they're not exactly explosive either. And so that's uh, that's interesting, right? Uh, but passing downs PPA for Coastal, they're number one on defense. Now, the difference here, Coastal number 126 strength of schedule. And Virginia is number 74 thus far. Uh, but I've got Coastal as a better power rating than Virginia. And they're at home. Uh, five factors plus talent. I've got Coastal number 48. I've got Virginia number 75 thus far. Coastal is 3-0 and straight up, 2-1 and against the spread. Virginia 2-1, 1-1 and against the spread. Uh, I, I need to look into those numbers because I thought that all three of... Uh, I thought all three of their lines, or whatever, all, all three of their games were lined. Excuse me. This is this is interesting. I'm taking Coastal. I don't feel like we got to worry about this. Uh, talent could be an issue, but Coastal is pretty good. This Tim Beck hire, I did not think much of it at the time. Seems to be okay. Seems to be okay. So give me Coastal plus three and a half there. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.